Right, well, remember last lesson we looked at the basic rule for integrating kx to the n. So let's write it down to remind ourselves and then look at some of the problems with using the rule. So kx to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Now like all rules you have to beware of the um, the problems that might uh, crop up. And usually it's to do with powers and the indices and your ability to manipulate fractions. So again, this is another opportunity for you to just tighten up the, the skills involved with that. So the first one here then, 5x to the 7, very, very simple application. k is 5 and n is 7, so the answer is 5x to the 8 over 8 plus c. Now, I did that without using the formula. Uh, apart from the fact I've obviously been doing this uh, perhaps too long now, but uh, if you start thinking too much about the formula, you're likely to make a mistake. But think of what the formula tells you to do. It says that you add 1 to the power and you divide by the new power. Okay, that's the way to remember this, not with this n's and n plus 1's floating around. So add 1 to the power is 8 and divide by the new power 8, which is why when I was writing this down, I actually did the 5x to the 8 first over 8 instead of worrying myself as to what I was going to put here um, to get the answer. So that's the way to think of it. So this one here, and you'll see why, why this is easier to do that way. So 4, we don't have to worry about the 4. x to the, add 1 to the power. So if you add 1 to negative 3, you get negative 2. Divide by the new power. Now, in the previous example, we couldn't simplify 5 over 8. Here, of course, we can simplify 4 over uh, negative 2, which is negative 2. So the answer is negative 2x to the negative 2 plus c. Now let's look at number 3, which, uh, let's change colours here, shall we? Let's make this our yellow equation. Now, what on earth are we going to do with this? Well, the cube root of x squared is x to the two-thirds, the cube root of x squared. But of course it's on the bottom line. So what I'm actually attempting to integrate here is 2 times x to the minus two-thirds. Right, now remember the way I said to do this. k is the 2. We don't worry about that. Add 1 to the power. If I add 1 to negative 2 thirds, I get plus 1 third. Divide by the new power, plus c. See how important it is to really understand what you're writing down. How do I divide by a third? Yeah, that's right. I turn it upside down, giving me 3, and multiply. So 2 times 3 is 6x to the third plus c. Now, the next one. Oh dear, this is this very simple integral would produce lots of wrong answers. Remember what I said that dx is there for? It's not part of the process, it's a warning. It's saying to you, make sure you remember that x is the variable. So what am I integrating here? I'm integrating 4. Now, remember differentiation and integration are reverse processes. So this says if I differentiate something, I've got to end up with 4. But I've got to differentiate with respect to x. So what do I differentiate 
with respect to x that ends up as 4, answer 4x plus c. So without that dx there, I wouldn't know that it was 4x. In fact, if it was d something else, if that was dy, then it would be 4y. If it was dt, it would be 4t. Does this actually fit into this rule over here? Well, it does, because, of course, I could write 4 as 4 times x to the naught. Because remember that anything to the power naught is 1. And then I can use the rule, because if I add 1 to 0, I get 4x to the 1, divide by 1 gives me 4x. So you have to be very careful then if you're integrating a number that unless you've written the d whatever here, you don't know what the answer is. So it is actually a crucial part of the symbolism that we use to do this integration. So there you have examples of the basic um, use of this formula. And perhaps we ought to just slip in one more while we're, um, while we're looking at that. Um, I think that if we have, let's do a number five, we want to integrate a multiple of x. Then in order to use the rule, we have to remember that that's x to the 1. So therefore, if I integrate this, add 1 to the power is x to the 2, divided by the new power plus c, and 6 over 2 is 3. So that would be 3x squared plus c. So we're now in a position then to, uh, to move on uh, in our next lesson and we'll look at starting to add and subtract um, functions of, of this type. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.